Hey everyone, today in the show we are going to be doing a brand review of Sugar Pill. I, I have eyeshadows, I have liquid lipsticks, and let's just let's just get into it. Quick intro about my sort of background of Sugar Pill before we get into this review. So I know a lot of drag queens use Sugar Pill. I used to do drag myself when I did drag. Sugar Pill was not a thing. But I'm an eyeshadow palette collector. Whenever there's an eyeshadow palette, I get it. And obviously Sugar Pill only do their pro palette, which is basically a custom compilation of you choosing your own eyeshadows from their singles collection, which I wasn't really into. But recently I've been like, well, I really want to try Sugar Pill, so let's do it. And that's what we're doing today. But before we continue on to this video, why don't you just like hit that subscribe button and that like button and that notification bell. You know, you're here, you're watching, you're having a good time. We can make that happen a lot. We like good times here. Like, just do it. Go ahead and do it. Okay, before I do anything to Sugar Pill, we need to get some foundation on this face. So I'm gonna go in with the Touch and Soul No Pore Blum Primer. This is just a really good primer because I hate my pores and I will say this primer can be a little, just a little bit drying. So uh, moisturize before you put it on. Coming to the end of the bottle. I like to prime my neck as well as my face just cause I'm a dude. So my neck gets facial hair. And as much as like I do my best to get rid of that every day, no matter what you do, you're gonna have texture. So if you use an anti-pore primer, it helps to just smooth it out, supposedly. I don't know how much it works because I've always used a no pore primer. We're then gonna take the Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. This is just a good foundation for everyone. There are a lot of shades. I don't know how many shades off the top of my head, but there are a lot. And everyone that uses it loves it. And it's not even like, for in the UK, it's not that pricey. It's only like five pounds more than a regular foundation. So I'm happy to pay that extra five pounds. My favorite thing about it is that it is a true medium coverage. A lot of times you'll get a medium coverage foundation and then you put it on, it's like, uh, where? For concealer, we're using a Tarte Shape Tape. You don't need me to give an explanation on this. It's just a good concealer. And now I just like to let this sit for a while while um while it sets because the longer it sets, the more coverage we're gonna get. So um, how are you guys? You doing well? I brought a drink into this room and I don't know what I've done with it. And while I let this set, I um. I take a drink break because the longer you leave it for, the more coverage you get. And I, I like that coverage. I like it a lot. So while I'm here, let me ask you guys some questions. Are there any other brands that you like really want to see me do a review of, like a full face of? Let me know in the comments down below because I am thinking about doing this like maybe monthly because I love doing a full face of a specific brand. Like if Sugar Pill did a foundation or a concealer, you know that would be in this video, but um, they don't. They do lip colors and eyeshadows, which is great, but it's, it's a bit limited. If you see me looking over here, it's cause I'm looking into my monitor. So over everywhere we just highlighted, we're gonna take the Urban Decay D-Slick Powder. It's just a nice white powder. And we're gonna put it over everywhere we highlighted, nowhere else. What this will help to do, it'll like reintroduce some color back into our face. Like even though it's white, you'll see why it does introduce color into our face. And then everywhere we didn't highlight, we're gonna use Mac Studio Fix. Then once you're done doing everywhere else without dipping in again, literally just go over everywhere where you highlighted to try and help the two colors meld a bit together so you don't just have like white on your face, then yellow. Okay, so 
I'm thinking it's sugar pill time. So we have six eyeshadows to work with and the colors Taco, Castle on the Hill, Text Me, Heart Shaped Cookie, and diamond eyes. Now, side note before we get into this, I heard that they're discontinuing heart shaped cookie. Sugar pill, if that is true, please don't, because I've been playing with these just before this video, and I really like this one. And so that's why in a second we're gonna start with that one. But first things first, let's use some Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. I am using the anti-aging one, and with the anti-aging eyeshadow primer, I do find that less is more. So just keep that in mind if you use the anti-aging one. But with all the other primer potions, I find that more is more. <laughs> okay, so with a clean blending brush, we're gonna take heart-shaped cookie and literally just do a wash over both of our eyes. This will just give us a nice smooth surface that's kind of close to my skin color um, for us to work with. If this is nothing like your skin color, then I recommend you use one that's close to your skin color because common sense. <laughs> I really don't get why they would discontinue this. I like the way this goes on a lot, like a lot, a lot. Next, we're gonna use a less sort of splayed out blending brush and we're gonna go with Text Me because I feel like it's like our only option here. And this is just gonna be put up in our crease as our transition color. Transitioning from what to what? Well, that is the mystery of life. So next, all over our lid area, so next, all over our lid area, we're gonna like press in diamond eyes. Oh, wow, this is more pigmented than I expected. Um, we're, we're just gonna go with what I said and hope for the best. I'm filming this the same day as my Fenty Beauty video. Um, and this is a similar technique I used to in that video, um, don't know if it'll work this time. In fact, it definitely won't. We're gonna need to do a bit of blending before we move on, because in the Fenty Beauty video, I laid everything down, then blended it after. It's definitely not gonna work here. So we're gonna take a clean brush and just clean all of this up a bit. We're gonna take Love Plus and a clean blending brush, as always. And from like the middle point out, we're just gonna have fun. In fact, let's go three quarter point. I'm really enjoying the pigment on this one. When I said to my friend that I was gonna do a sugar pill review, she was like, get love plus whatever you do, get Love Plus. I had to go on like three different websites to get Love Plus. Didn't mean to go up there, but we can fix that in a second. Okay, you see the difference of what I've done on this eye versus this eye? Do this eye, not this eye. This eye we, we need to like fix. Okay, so to fix this up, we're gonna go in with a bit more of heart-shaped cookie and anywhere where there's stuff that we don't want there to be stuff, we're just gonna use heart-shaped cookie and hopefully that will tone it down enough. And we can even do that on this side just to clean things up a bit. With a clean brush, we're gonna take a castle on the hill and just sort of blend that in. Okay, this is not doing what I want it to do, but I don't mind it. Okay, so the more I'm like layering this color on, the better it's looking. So, um, I'm not too worried anymore. Yeah, I'm not too worried anymore. I do think we're probably gonna have to go back in with diamond eyes, especially on this eye, but that's okay. It's, it's okay to have to go in with the same thing multiple times. We are looking a wee bit draggy at this point. So what I want to do is take text me to like this outer V shape. We're just going to use text me to try and like bring everything together. No, 
You know like when you're at the park as kids and then your mum would see their friend that they hadn't seen in ages and their friend had also had a kid and then they try and force you and their friend's kid to become friends but you and the friend's kid kind of can't stand each other. That's what we're trying to do right now but with eyeshadow. So you know earlier on where I didn't bring the red up onto this eye? Yeah, we're gonna do that now because this eye where there is the red is looking a lot better. Um, you live, you learn. So we're just tapping into the red once. We don't need more than that. We need to like barely touch in there. And we are gonna go back in with heart shaped cookie just to help dilute it down a bit. Then finally, we're gonna take text me just go over that outer V shape again. Then we're gonna take diamond eyes, get a, literally coat this brush and then, like tap any excess off, but literally coat the brush. And I'm gonna use my monitor to do this part. Yes, so we're literally just gonna go in and highlight this lower area. I don't know why I said yes, like I was some kind of like, evil queen in a movie just then like yes eyeshadow then finally because it's the only one i haven't used and i feel sorry for it we're gonna take taco and go onto our brow bone oh my god that's like flat out white like i know it's white there but like most whites i use are like kind of crappy <laughs> like the urban decay white in the full spectrum palette especially that's kind of crappy but this is this is not that. This is this is good. And then finally, what I like to do at this step, which might be seen a little bit controversial, but fuck it. I like to just go back in and blend anything that I think could be blended a bit better. Right here. Okay, so I'm not entirely happy with how little the brown part is showing in the middle, especially like in this side. So we're just gonna go in one more time, but this time we're using an angled blending brush, which might actually help our cause. Then we're gonna take one of the blending brushes from before and just help blend all of that out. Then finally, one last time, we're gonna go in with a diamond eyes on a pencil brush this time and really get as close as we can into that inner corner. Doing this while looking into a monitor might not have been my greatest idea. Then we're gonna go in with a black liquid liner. I need a closer mirror for this. Sorry, but I just do. Remember to clench your butthole so tight that you change reality so you weren't born and then you have to clench your butthole again before you're erased from existence. You know when you don't mean to do a wing, but then you have to be like, fuck it, I'm doing a wing now. Normally what I would have done is just wiped that off and then fixed up the area where I took it off, but um, ran out of makeup wipes. <laughs> so uh, I'm just gonna having to go with whatever today. Eyeliner is done. Can I, If anyone can recommend to me a good liquid liner that's not Kat Von D in the comments down below, please let me know because I am looking to change liquid liner for reasons that you guys if you're if you know you know next we're just going to go in with a bit of bronzer using the kat von d contour palette again any of you can recommend to me a good contour palette that's not kat von d please let me know because i do need to replace it i feel like now is the time to admit i have fully had the Hex Girls theme song from Scooby-Doo and the Witch's Ghost stuck in my head the entire time I've been making this video. So, if I look a bit semi-Hex girly right now, that's why. I mean, that song was such a bop and they were so dumb for not making a full version though. Whoever makes Scooby-Doo these days, make a full version of I'm a Hex Girl. If you're new to this channel or if you aren't new and you just don't know, when I do eyebrows, I like to take inspiration from characters from Dragon Ball Z. That's not even a joke, that's just where I get my eyebrow inspiration from. Is there any particular reason I do that? Yes. 
Would I like to share that reason? Yes. Would I like to share it right now? No, I want to do my eyebrows right now. I always like to start in the middle of my eyebrows and then make my way to the sides because I always find that I've got an adequate amount of product for the areas I'm doing if I do that. And we're going to finish up this look by doing lips. So I got two lip colours from Sugar Pill. One in Nurse, which is this bright red one, and then Trifle, which is this like sort of plummy one. I want to go with Nurse for this look, and we're not even going to apply it like a liquid lipstick. I'm, you'll see what I mean. So we're going to take this brush, which is like the tiniest, thinnest brush in the world. Dab just the tiniest little bit of it on this brush. And go in the center. You can even go in with your finger and help. smudge it a bit. Really what we're doing is using this liquid lip more like a lip tint than a lipstick. So now that I'm seeing this look with my hair down, normally that helps to just bring a look together. I'm really not liking how intense this red is. I like that, it, I do like its pigment and everything. I think it'll be a great red on a different look. But for this look, I just wanna like take my beauty blender, take the tip of it where I put the products to begin with, and we're just gonna help mute it out a bit. Cool, and that's that. Okay, and now it's time to get onto my final thoughts. So my final thoughts on Sugar Pill is like, they, they live up to their reputation. Like every single one of these shadows lived up to their reputation. If anyone works at Sugar Pill is watching this, please let me know if you are discontinuing Heart Shaped Cookie because I really liked it and I feel like Heart Shaped Cookie is sort of like the glue that holds this look together. Like you don't see it, but it's there working hard. So please let me know if you're getting rid of Heart Shaped Cookie. And if you are, please send me some before you get rid of it forever because I really loved this one. There wasn't a single product I didn't like in this collection. I know these lip colors last on drag queens, which means they're gonna last on me, no problem. I live a very um, chill life, shall we say. Not chill in the, I don't have any anxiety. I'm filled with anxiety and that's why I don't move. This lip look, I can see myself wearing a lot, even though I had to like put foundation over it. Like that's normal for me as a person that typically uses Korean lip tints rather than liquid lipsticks. What I'll do if I get a liquid lipstick is do this little foundation technique, which is fine. This is like a perfectly normal step for me and it worked great with Sugar Pills. So that's a 10 out of 10 in my book. The eyeshadows all live up to their reputation, especially this Taco and Love Plus. When I said I was getting a bunch of Sugar Pill eyeshadows, these were the two that people were like, get those two. And when I'd be like, why? They'd be like, you will see, just get them. And so I got them and I saw. But for now guys, that is it for today. Have you ever used Sugar Pill before? Please let me know down below. Also, why don't you check out this video and subscribe if you haven't already. But I've left this video right here for you so you can like click it anytime.